for many years I've contended that there really isn't any value to iron chelates because one, once it hits the soil, it's going to oxidize pretty quickly anyway. And you're going to, have to pay a lot of money. It seems like a very, very expensive way to do it is to do it through the soil. I mean, you could, but I don't think you, that's really an effective way to do it. And when you do apply it to the leaf surface, you can get the same response from applying just iron sulfate. It'd be less expensive. However, there can be a benefit to using iron chelates in the manufacturing of these materials before you get it out on the grass. The difference in the jug, the chelates can potentially have an effect, have a beneficial um, value to you when you're buying it. And I don't know how many people do sprays. I don't do that many, but I do do some. And I only have four nozzles on my boom. Okay. I have a two meter boom that has four nozzles on it. And I will do almost anything to prevent those things from getting clogged up because I don't want to sit and spend an hour and a half changing up my damn filters or cleaning them out, spraying them out because something got salted out or something got gummed up and it went through my dang boom and got caught in my filters. I got to stop and pull them out and change them. I'll do almost anything to prevent that. And I only have four. Okay. So the point is, if there's a benefit in the manufacturing of these materials by including a chelate that makes it clean and clear, and it gets it through those screens uh, more consistently than without, then I might be willing to pay for that. And so might you. Now, I don't think you're going to see a much of a difference in the, in the turf grass response. Okay. The turf grass response is probably going to be consistent and similar to just uh, spray grade iron sulfate. But the logistics of getting it out, it, it might be, they might be a value to you. The chelates, and I'm going to show a video right here that kind of shows that a little bit. Okay. So I don't want to poo poo over all over chelates because there's still, you know, there, there can be benefits and value to them. Let me, let me pull this video up and then I'll go back to, I'll go back to your comments. Okay. I'm going to read through the comments before I go tonight, guys. So, and, um, don't forget my favorite Mexican bands coming on at the end. Um, but I'll go through your comments and address as many as I can before I go. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to read them all. Okay. So this is from a, uh, a, a, a YouTube channel called Bermuda grass central. The best liquid, the title is the best liquid iron for lawns. How do I get a greener lawn? Now this is a rather long video. I'm going to show the intro and then I'm going to skip to certain timestamps because I just want to show <clears throat> the products. He does a good job of showing actually what the products look like in the jug. And I think um, that can maybe show my point when it comes to the manufacturing, the value of a chelate. Well, I don't, I'm not a manufacturer, but the potential value of a chelate in the actual manufacturing of these liquids. Okay, let's listen to the first minute or two and then I'll skip ahead. Okay, you are for next. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Now, you see the greenness, all right? And that section back there, is an $8 iron product. I think it was nine bucks, $9 iron product. And let me show you a $30 iron, liquid iron product. Fanatics. And as you feast your eyes on the $30 liquid iron product, that product was called Ferdy Loom. All right. The other product was Sunnyland liquid iron. Okay, so I can't raise the audio any louder than it is. I, I don't have the knowledge of how to do that. I apologize. That's as loud as I can make it. But he's showing a liquid iron from Sunnyland and a chelated liquid iron from Fertilone. And he's going to go out and he, and through the video, he applies them and he looks at the differences and so forth. <clears throat> and he's, if I don't want to misquote this gentleman, but if, if my recollection is he prefers the chelated iron over the, over the liquid iron. Now, if you look at the label on the Sunnyland, it is iron sulfate. And the label on this chelated a liquid iron, uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was a chelated iron. <clears throat> okay, so let's skip ahead to seven minutes. And what I'm going to show you is what these products actually look like in the jug. Um, because I can tell you right now, just by looking at the liquid iron on the left, I would not put that through my spray rig because I don't want to spend two hours. I don't, it might not, it might go through my screens. It might. 
I don't want to might. Okay. I don't, I don't want to, I think it might work when it comes to cleaning out my screens. I don't want to sit out there for two hours, cleaning out my dang screens. And I think this product might do that. So until I'm convinced it would go through my screens cleanly, the product in this, in the Sunnyland pro the liquid in the Sunnyland jug, I wouldn't use. And I think it, there, there, it's an example of the actual manufacturing of the liquids. Let's look, let's look at seven minutes in. Fur loom is the, I mean, I don't, I don't, I want to cuss, man, but it's, it's, it's the, it's the <laughs> chocolate pudding emoji, um, smiley face emoji. I mean, seriously, it, it works. And when I put this stuff down, man, it got thicker, it got greener, faster than the other side. And like I said, I sprayed it and I actually sprayed it at a um, lower rate. I didn't go to rake that they recommend it but okay so this is this liquid here on the left i don't know if that's what he actually poured out of the jug or not i didn't see him pour it out of the jug but i'm assuming he's an honest man he poured it out of the jug into this bottle and that's what it looks like <clears throat> you'll see a lot of liquid products that are very clean and clear like this in turf grass management and turf products you'll see this very frequently and those are products that you know I have confidence in will go will go through my screens <laughs> to be frank okay that's what i'm really more concerned about how can i get it out safely without with the least amount of effort and anybody who stopped and cleaned out those dang spray nozzles and screens knows exactly the the headache that you deal with when you make one little mistake something salts out or something's it's cold everything worked good in july and all of a sudden now it's october and it's colder and it's everything salts out and you didn't know it and you got problems now i'm gonna skip ahead to what the other product looks like the Sunnyland product looks like in the in the jug. Actual, let me show you the product that I'm talking about. It's the Sunnyland. All right, and that's what the liquid looks like. Like I said, it's kind of a brownish. Well, actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, this is shook up. This is shook up, so it's not exactly this color. Yeah, so I mean, there's nothing wrong with yellow. I mean, pentamethalin's yellow and goes out no problem. But I just don't know. He he was saying there's some stuff settled out in the bottom. He shook it up. I just wouldn't have a lot of confidence. I I, I wouldn't even put that through my screen. Honestly, I wouldn't say, well, let's test it. I'm just having the manufacturer the shipment. You test it. And you, <laughs> you you get your spray rig and show me it goes through the same size screen that I got, and then I'll be then I'll be okay with it. But until then, I don't even want to test that. And I and I I don't think like I said I don't think there's much value in iron chelates in terms of the agronomic response. Like I said. And the soil is going to oxidize anyway. It's a very expensive way to do it. And on the leaf, you're going to get a response from iron sulfate anyway. So why spend the money? But if the chelate results in that nice, clean, clear product that he showed before compared to this product, then there could be value in it. That's where I think the value of iron chelates actually lies in turf management. Because you're, you can, you, you, well, you're going to see a response from pulling it foliar. It's just going to be very expensive to do it. Okay. So thank you to, I don't know this guy's name, Bermuda Grass Central. I mean, I, I could have gone out and got these products and done it myself, but I'm like, hey, he, he did it. He did a good job. So I'll just give him a pat on the back and say, thanks for putting out that video. So I didn't, I didn't have to go do it. <laughs> so good, good job on that one. Um, but that's, that's my take on, on iron chelates for the most part. I, I don't see the value in them unless it's actually in the manufacturing.